Okay, let's explore a new feature on the MySoNet software. It is called Word Sculpt. So to do this, we're going to go up here to the Create module. And we're going to choose Word Sculpt. And this is kind of a fun thing to do. It's a, definitely a, a stress reliever. And uh, when it comes up on the screen, we see it says Shape up here. And when I drop my menu down, I can see all kinds of shapes that I can choose from birds, animals, butterflies, all kinds of wonderful things, fish, all kinds of nifty shapes. So let's choose, um, let's choose a, how about a fish? I think I saw some good fish up here. Up oh, here it is. There it is. Let's go with a fish. Okay, so we've got our fish. And I, for, for purposes today, I'm gonna to make the fish a little bit smaller. Um, you can see that I'm going right here and I'm gonna choose 120 because I know that my hoop is 120. It proportionally sized the design down. I wanna have a satin finish stitch. I can of course choose under stitch type. I can choose a motif or a running stitch. I think the satin looks best. So we're gonna roll with that. We're gonna hit next. And what this does is this allows me to go up here in the top left corner and to put in words that describe this fish. Now you saw all the different shapes. So I'm gonna type in bubbles. I'm gonna type in fins. I'm gonna type in gills. Um, I might type in H2O. Yeah, let's try that again. H2O. All right, now, when I touch finish, it shows me my fish with the words in it, but we are gonna make some changes to that. So I'm gonna enlarge this so we can see it. The other thing I need to do is when I touch on these words, you can see they're grouped together. So I need to ungroup them, going back to the home tab and click on ungroup. All right, and we can see over here, in my nifty little film strip, it shows me the different designs because I've ungrouped them. So we're gonna take gills and we see gills is now surrounded by a series of blocks. At this point, I can take the word gill and stretch it to fill my fish. And you might wanna get a little creative, stretch it out a line a little bit. Let's take that S and pull it down here. All right, so we've got gills. Now we're gonna go over here and grab bubbles. And grab that corner, bring it over, grab this corner. And let's go up and grab the, this little guide. And as you can see, it takes a little bit of time, but with text still being an incredibly popular element in design, this is giving us a way to just make a kind of an interesting design. And by stretching this, we're filling up the space with some words that describe. Now, I chose this little fish and I, I deliberately made him smaller so that I wouldn't take an incredible amount of time on this. But I think you're getting the idea that you can take any of those fabulous shapes and by taking the words, and you can have multiple words in different fonts, different sizes, and you can pull those little boxes that describe the letters and fill the entire shape of your motif. Let's grab this last here with, with this N. So grab it up here. I'd say this would be a great stress reliever. You can move the whole thing. There we go. One more. All right. So now I'm going to put this back down to 100% so you can see what we've done. 
as you can see, I've taken the fish, filled him with some words that describe him and have a word sculpt. Kind of nifty. Um, give it a try. I think you might like it. This is Brenda. Till next time, I'm here with Luke's.